how YouTube changed my life with under 10,000 subscribers. Man, where do I start? Where do I begin? But if I can recall, YouTube has always been available. YouTube has always been there for me. And I'm so very, very thankful that I was able to build a community on this platform. Um, so yeah, this is a video basically on how YouTube changed my life with under 10,000 subscribers. My name is Josh, this is my channel. So welcome to my channel. I wanna get right into this because I feel like this is one of the better videos of like where I can just really talk to the camera and really tell you guys my experience. My channel, uh, how YouTube changed my life. I have like, I think like 8,000 subscribers and I have reached a million views total of all my videos on my channel together. So really I wanna explain like my journey and then kind of like why I created my YouTube channel and then, you know what I'm saying, what keeps me going for making more videos. For a background on me, I started off as a photographer. I was actually a photographer and I did my YouTube, uh, let's see. So I was looking to get into art school. Uh, uh, I just knew I was gonna be a photographer. Uh, I've always done it, I was in yearbook and everything like that, I always take pictures and everything like that. So. Uh, me with me doing my portfolio, I ended up noticing that I had a lot of pictures and everything like that. It was good, but I also knew like the downsides of photography was that like if your subject, because I was doing portraits for photography, portrait photography, you know, you take a picture of a person, uh, you do portraits, you know, you can sell the prints, all that. So I was doing that, and I just noticed that like if my friends or just like the subject was not down to shoot or if they weren't down to pay, like that was literally it. Like you really couldn't force anybody to pay, pay you for your work. Um, your work will speak for itself, but this is like, if my subject was late or if my subject wasn't there, I literally didn't have content for that day. I literally didn't have a photo. And I was like, that would be like a waste of a day. Kind of like, you know what I mean? I ended up turning YouTube. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should do a YouTube video. It was around summertime. I was like, yeah, like, I like YouTube. I watch YouTube all the time. Like, um, this is like kind of like when hair, hair content was getting more popular, and the main thing was men's hair care was getting more popular in between if they wanted wave content or lock content. So, I did wave content. So I ended up making a video. I sat down and made a video. I ended up doing it, and I was a little nervous, but I was like, you know what? You know, I've always been into hair care. I've always been in wave. Just post a video. I don't know what will happen, but hey, like. The worst thing, one person will see it. So I ended up posting videos. I uh, My first video, now I wouldn't say my first, I think like probably like my fifth video, uh, one of the videos ended up getting like 10,000 views in like a couple weeks. So that freaked me out because like, um, you know, so I was titling it, I just did it like kind of like I didn't, I just did it how I would do it. So yeah, in, the video ended up doing like around like 10,000, you know, I'm getting like 10,000 views. And for me, that was a big deal. That was a big deal. I was just like, okay, I got views. Like people are watching it. I don't know who's watching it. So that's where I got into, I started to create a community. I started to realize like people are interested in my content. And then by me making content, people started to become interested in what I was doing. Pivotal moment in my career or kind of like in my life in general, because I started to realize that like content creation is something that I have a passion for. Content creation is also something that I enjoy doing. So when I started making more videos, I started understanding that people were continuously watching. They'll watch one video and then they'll watch another video and then they'll, com they'll comment or tell them, hey, I just watched all your videos. I love your videos. Um, just like the praise and just kind of like just building a community to where I can speak to my subscribers and, and it changed from me just making videos or just talking to a camera. It started to become to where I was talking to you guys. I was talking to my subscribers. So it started to change my content. It started to become like, okay, well, I'm not just making videos for me anymore or I'm not just making videos because I like them. I'm making them because people are asking me, requesting them and it's becoming bigger than what I expected it to be. So I just kept making videos, like, oh man, I like it. I was like, started doing my wave content, you know what I'm saying, started taking it more seriously, start, uh, I did like a couple of vlogs. <laughs> I did a couple of vlogs. Um, we don't know if they're that good. You don't have to watch my vlogs. 
But uh, I kind of strive more in the hair content. So, you know what I'm saying? With me just starting the process off, just trying it, I then figured out, like, this is what I love to do. I love making videos. I love, like, speaking. And uh, I like being able to explain things. Like, I started to realize that I was pretty good at teaching or I was pretty good at, like, making concise points so people could understand and not making it confusing, not making it like gibberish and everything like that. So I started to realize like, wow, like I have a couple of talents in this space and it's on this platform. So let me just use it and like, let me continue to keep posting because I don't know what video is going to go viral. I don't know what video is going to be good or no good, but I just know I'm talking to my community and my community is with me and they're supporting me. So that really just was just the the best thing that happened to me, like especially with me, like I'll be at work or something like that. And people will be like, we, we write me on Snapchat like, hey, I love your videos, man. I subscribe to your YouTube. I watch this. I'll go live. People would like support me and everything like that. And that was just like so monumental to me because I just never thought people would be that interested in here or be that interested in what I had to say. So just knowing that I had a community and my voice mattered, it just meant the world to me. So I just always post it and I always love doing it. You know, it's just like, even now, even if I've been continuously making videos and everything like that, it's just like, I continuously do it because I love to do it. And I will not stop because it's just something, I have like a gut feeling in my heart. It's like a burning passion of like, I just wanna make videos and I wanna complete them and I wanna post them so that my community can see them. And you know what I'm saying, tell me, what they like, what they don't like. Give me feedback because I make videos for my subscribers. I make a video for my community. So it's just a good feeling to know that they like what I post. You know, sometimes they may not like it, but you know, if they do, you know, I, I appreciate it. So that's really just how everything worked out for me. It just made me realize that my ideas are valid and I need to execute on my ideas because I never know where they'll go, you know? So I highly suggest that, ooh. <laughs> I highly suggest if you are thinking about content creation or just even anything creatively, just give it a shot. Do it. I would say the earlier you do it, the better. Because just try to like get your ideas out, do them because you just never know and it can possibly change your life. But that's the end of the video. That's all I have really had to say to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video and I'll be back with more videos. So thank you again and I'm out.